Hello and welcome to episode number three of our Blackstone Big Chungus campaign. Now before I started this episode, I was kind of taking a look around exactly what I wanted to do next. I think I'm going to continue to push west. If I'm able to take out these five Imperial planets, I will set myself up really, really well because I have two independent planets protecting me from the north. I'll even have an independent planet protecting me from the west and kind of also here in the south. Once these Imperial planets are taken, I will also be able to go and take out these rebel planets and then kind of pursue south and then keep going west from there. I think that's going to be a really, really good strategy as I will continue to use these independent planets as buffer planets, which I think is going to be a key strategy, like I said, in the Big Chungus map. So picking up from where we left off, let's continue to, I guess, go after Naboo and then kind of go from there and take on Malastare. Wow, I like how it does that. Whenever I unpause, it kind of freezes up the game. Um, I know a lot of people have been experiencing lag on the Big Chungus campaign. I'm not going to lie, I have not experienced any lag whatsoever, so I'll take that as a blessing. And let's continue to build up our ground force. Now, in the last episode, we also managed to get Tech 3 of King Caesar, which, as you can see, unlocks space casinos for us, which is definitely something that we need to build a lot of. We don't have anything on Rothana, okay. But we also here in the southeastern, which is where I'm building up my fleet and my army and kind of building up our empire, we also don't have a ship trader. We still don't have a ship trader spot, which we really, really need. Does Zar have one? No, it definitely doesn't. All right, but we're on Zar, we are building our Tibana gas mines. On all of these other planets, we need to continue to build up our space casinos, which is something that we just unlocked. Let's see, where do we build these? Okay, space casino here. Christophsis, can you build me... Okay, Christophsis can build me a space casino. It's kind of late when I'm recording this. I just really butchered the <laughs> pronunciation of Christophsis. I don't know if that's going to pick up on my mic, because I kind of said it kind of low, but wow, that was pretty bad. Alright, I'm going to take my ground forces and try my best to take on Naboo. Naboo should be pretty easy. They only have... Yeah, I don't even have an outpost here. They only have a barracks here. Should be a pretty easy planet to take on. But looking at our ground force, like I said before the episode, we still need more tanks. And Tech 3 only unlocked us one tank, and it's the ATTE. Now, we all love ourselves a good old-fashioned ATTE. Me more than anyone, I love me some, some good old-fashioned ATTE action. Which is really funny because, man, the Black Sun really loves themselves some Clone Wars units. Also, I was, you know me, I'm a YouTuber, obviously. I, I build up my campaigns strictly for YouTube for the most part. Um, so I was doing like a rebel campaign, trying to get to the Zar mission so I could do another Zar tutorial because I always have to update it every single update. And my income, man, my income on that, it took me like three weeks and I was already at 10k. Not three weeks, but it took me a decent amount of time. But by this time, I had 10k and this is so pathetic, man. 6700 is so bad. That's why we need some space casinos. Once we get these space casinos built up, look at that. 200 credits on their own plus a weekly income of 150 percent that's actually really really good that's almost better than tabana gas mines because tabana gas mines also cost 2,000 more and you can build these things everywhere now that i think about it we're going to be making a lot of money because we can build space casinos on hypori we can build them on mongaza and no, the no, moon on Christophsis, we already got some on Smoker's Run, we got some coming on Tatooine. We're going to be making a lot of money off of those. Hunt Sympathizers. Sounds easy enough. Kill that Sympathizer. Nice. That will be a nice little mission. And with that, let's go ahead and start a battle. Let's get into the Battle of Naboo. And why not start the Battle of Naboo with some B1 freaking battle droids, baby? Oh, I don't have any ATTEs. Well, not like the Battle of Naboo had the ATTEs anyways. We found out, oh yeah, I got a comment on this. When we read through the Naboo description, it talks about how Naboo lacks a molten core. Instead, the planet's inners are composed of a massive honeycomb structure filled with water. That's really cool. And then somebody commented and said that in episode one, you know, when Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Jar Jar Binks are in that little like boat, I'm just going to call it a boat, in a boat, going through the ship's or the planet's core. They even mention it, now that I think about it, they even mention how that's the ship's core. So, shout out to whoever commented that. Let's go ahead and uh, make this a real episode one battle right here. B2s weren't in episode one, sadly. 
Man, the sounds are so good. They got the Clone Wars blasters so down. Got some AATs, alright. Boba Fett, you weren't here. Sorry, buddy. Neither was your dad, so I can't even really justify bringing you in. Alright, we're gonna need some anti-air. Skiffs are probably gonna be my best anti-air. That and probably some mass drivers. Let's go and actually build some mass drivers. Let's not completely throw this battle just by making it <laughs> a Clone Wars battle. I guess this is actually pre-Clone Wars. I shouldn't even call it a Clone Wars battle. Rodians, Kalish Warriors. Let's bring some Kalish Warriors in. I brought in a bunch of tanks, so we should be good in the tank department. What is that? That's my keys. I don't know why my keys are right there, but okay. And right, let's move out. Let's get some mass driver action. Looks like we already destroyed something right there. Alright, you guys can be my group two. Group two, you push, push forward. Group one, kind of back them up. Yeah, that's what I wanted. This guy should act as a decent... Yeah, defend things against air units. Hey, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, nice job. Wow, the Kalish Warriors actually did some damage right there. Alright, let me get my Kalish Warriors. Come over here and just jump in that bunker for me. You guys go this way. I'm going to push through these trees. The AATs will have to go around because they're big. Classic episode 1 of the Clone Wars. If that episode taught you anything, it, taught, it teaches you that 1. AATs are big, and 2. B1s are stupid. <laughs> hey, don't shoot my B1s. Holy cow. These things are fragile as crap to be ones. Oh boy. Alright. Go ahead and hop in here for me. You guys, y'all can push forward. Once we capture this, we'll be able to bring in some more units. Can I get one of y'all to come down here? Group two. Nope, group one. Group one, just go and take this thing out so we don't keep getting reinforcements. This might be the end of our B ones because I think we're about to lose them all. Alright, what do I want to bring in? What do they have? Some infantry? They're going to have a lot of infantry. Let's get some of you guys. And then, probably just going to bring in some ATAPs just so I can try and destroy their buildings a little bit faster. Yeah, we need some ATT. We need just more tanks, which was really sad because we're not going to get any more tanks. Alright, hopefully these speeders can at least, yeah, crush these in infantry. Right, you guys can start pushing forward as well. Oh, you're answer. stuck. Nice job. Classic weak, way <laughs> weak ways. Yeah, they're stupid too. Can't call a B1 stupid if you're going to have freaking weak ways as, as your lead party. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just spend the money. Why not? I mean, serious. Those space casinos are really, really good. Yeah, so AATs and ATTEs and ATAPs are really going to be the tanks that we use for a very long time. I need to do a little bit of testing. I was actually doing a lot of testing earlier. Um, I need to test and see if I when I switch my Black Sun Lord, do I lose my space casinos or do I not? I don't think I will based off my knowledge of the faction. I don't think I will. And if that's the case, I'm going to build up a de Whoa, what a shot. Oh my gosh, what a shot. Once I build up a decent amount of space casinos and I've got the income coming in, and then maybe, you know, build some Venators and some refit acclimators and such, once I get done doing that, I think I'm just going to switch Vigos pretty quickly here. So by episode 5 or 6, I think I'll be ready to switch Vigos, switch, switch Crime Lords. Because I just don't think that it's going to be super super important for me to keep using keep using King City's War once I'm done with building a bunch of space casinos. These things have the same sound as um, the Slave One. Kind of. These are just rebel guys. I'm going to edit out the rest of this battle. Alright, and like that we won the battle. I'm not even sure what was preventing us from winning. Alright, we lost our two B1s. Sad times. That is the end of the B1s. I'm not sure which Crime Lord I'm going to switch to, though, once I get the... Once I get built up. Oh, we did build Bosk, which is cool. We can go and kill him. Reporting. Let's put... 
a Boba Fett up front. And then just like that, we have already captured Naboo. Very well done. I guess that means we are going after Malister next. Hmm, that's not good. As you can see, they're actually taking up pretty quickly here. Yeah, classic ex classic expert difficulty. Kicking my butt. All right, let's see. We already got the two space casinos there. Got the two space casinos there. Build up both of them there. All right, we're looking pretty good. We've already increased our income by like two thousand. They don't have too much here. Let's go ahead and push out and take Malice there. What do they have on the ground? Nothing. Classic. Let's go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I think right now, Rebels are by far the most overpowered faction. Since the new updates, you can have the um, the income buildings as the Rebels and your Rebel camps. Which, by the way, both provide income. So like I said, I was running through my practice campaign. Not my practice campaign, but just like this campaign that I have with every faction that I'm super advanced in. So if I wanted to do like a ship showcase for them, or if I quickly need some gameplay for that faction, I basically have all the technologies, a whole bunch of planets, every single kind of ship for the most part, or at least the technologies to build whatever I need to use. So I have a campaign for that. So I was like, I was working on that campaign since the new update. I had to re redo that and get a new one. It's so easy to use the the rebels right now because they have such a crazy, um, they have such a crazy economy. It's it's nuts. Also, we we still have to kill sell this munificent. Alright, you and you can push forward. Yeah, we still need a bigger fleet. Space casinos are very good, and we keep talking about that, but uh, outside of space casinos, man. Freaking Caesar sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and say it. He doesn't suck because he does have the space casinos, and he's by far the best economy-based crime lord. But holy crap, dude, you are horrible outside of the economy Outside of the economy department, man, you you struggling, my boy. All right, let's get these fighters to try and take on some of these other guys. Oh wow, wow, wow! wow, wow. Where did my Minotaur? Oh, there it is, right there. Don't want to lose that. That'd be a tragedy. <laughs> the Minotaurs have Imperial voice lines. I didn't even realize that until now. That's funny. Alright, new plan. Every unit kill this thing. And then we can just boost all firepower. We should be able to bring in some reinforcements safely now. Bring in the Rekis on. Just to speed up the battle. U5 engaged that guy. You can push up as well. What else is going on in the life of Captain? Captain is ready for Christmas break. We have finally hit Christmas break here in the life of most college colleges. So I will be taking off from college here pretty soon. They're going to retreat, which is good. So I'm going to be heading home pretty soon, so I should be able to pump out some more content, which I'm excited about. All my roommates are also gone too, so I don't have to worry about them. Alright, so that was a good battle. We didn't lose anything right there, which is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Who was that? That didn't even sound like a human's voice. It sounded like almost like a Trandosian, kind of. Not really. Malastair, yay. Go team. Alright, ground forces are on their way. We do need to protect Naboo. Let's sell this. We got a mission for that, if you're wondering why. There we go. We got three assault fighters. But we didn't get them here. I'll send you back to Naboo just to protect it for a little bit. I didn't even see where that... Ooh, baby. We got some... ATTEs. Perfect. Where did they steal profit from us? Ah, Christophsis. What a classic one. All right, it was here. It was Christophsis that I was actually building those things. On the lock, we do have an arms dealer here. I'm just going to sell that. 
Starting. Don't need that there. All right, perfect. Let's see. What else do we want to do? I still need more tanks. So here, let me get another ATTE units. I don't see anywhere else that we need to build space casinos. Okay, we do need to build them on Naboo. I was already going to build a space station here, but let's go and do that. Uh, we got the two things building there. What's nice about the Black Sun, especially in comparison to the Empire and the uh, Rebels, you only have to worry about one tech. And as the Empire and the Rebels, think about the Rebels. The Rebels, you have eight technologies you have to build with multiple variants of each technology, which is crazy. But as the as the Black Sun, you only have to worry about one. Where are my ATTEs at? Maybe it's cool. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill off these Alliance Envoys. They're actually dealing enough enough damage to my uh, economy that I actually want them gone. Is that seriously my ATTE? Wow, it is moving very slowly. Am I just missing something? No, that's it. Wow, I wonder... Okay, hear me out. I wonder if on this campaign they slowed down the speed of moving troops unless they're on one of these hyperspeed yeah look how much faster that is wow that's interesting so it's not actually that much faster it is that much faster but it's not as fast as it used to be but look how slow that is but that's pretty crazy because like look at this they all go towards the core which don't get me wrong that makes sense but like what about <laughs> what about my what about non-imperial factions come on guys um, Hunt Sympathizers failed, which is kind of crazy because I definitely just killed one. I don't know if you have to kill more than one, or if that's still messed up. Because I remember having that problem last time I played as the Black Sun, and I even asked in the Discord, I was like, uh, is there something wrong with this mission, or do I just... And I think they said that there was something wrong with the mission. Why does it feel like everything's just kind of building slow? All these casinos are building slow, and everything. Who knows? All right, let's keep working on our fleet. We do want to eventually get a refit Venator. I guess that time is now. <laughs> let's go ahead and build one of these. Refit Venators are just like the refit Acclimators. They have ridiculous damage output. Eight heavy dual turbo lasers is insane. Twelve light range or twelve long range light turbo lasers. Two more light turbo lasers. Maybe not a composite beam. Check that out. That's nice. So yeah, they are damage-dealing machines. They don't necessarily have the greatest survivability, but they will wreak some havoc. Let's do the Battle Master. Ooh, you know what would be really, really cool? Uh, Malastair was a forested planet located in the Malastair system of the Mid-Rim. Situated along the Hydean Way, its core was home to the large reserves of Malastarian fuel, a toxic fuel found only on Malastair. It was the home world of the Doug species, though it was represented by the Gran species in the Galactic Senate. Um, this is really long, yada yada yada. <laughs> um, yeah, the Zilla Beast. This is where the Zilla Beast happened. That's about it. Yeah, these do have splots. A really good strategy is because King Caesar, the one thing he does have besides a good economy, is some really good infantry. So I wonder if in combination with the ATTEs, transporting these really good infantry units, we could have a pretty good combination like that. Sorry, sometimes I just stop talking. It's late, like I said. <laughs> um, it's so hard not to bring AATs, and I think I'm going to bring in some of these guys as well. And you guys push forward. You guys can kind of go over here for me. Perfect. All right, then we'll have the tanks. Yeah, the tank support. Tanks can support. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and move out. Speed this up. Very, very good. What do we got here? Not that useful, but it's worth it. All right, we got some conflicts. Nothing that we can't handle. Good. I like money. Could always use some more money in my life. Alright, good job. You can kind of push back up here. What we got? What we got? Mm, perfect. 
Let's see how good these ATTEs are. Pretty good. I, you know the ATUTs, so if you don't know what an ATUT is, it's basically an ATTE, but this back half, I guess the whole entire body right here, is doesn't have a roof. So you can have, it's mostly a carrier, but you can have like infantry on the back of it, which normally there are infantry in this. It's exactly where our infantry currently is. It's on the inside of this little area right here. But the ATUT has this open hatch and it's mostly used for a transport. It's not actually as good as an ATTE, but you can have your infantry kind of shoot off the back of it. And when you have these really, really nice high quality infantry like this, I kind of wish I had those. But can't get everything you wish for. Group two, come over here and finish these guys off. What else do I want to bring in? I think I'm gonna bring in these guys. Um, let's push you guys up here. Together, like I said, I think these guys together are gonna make a pretty good combination. Get some Rodian Hunters, that's like my tanks, like I said. Pretty good combination, right? Group three, you guys kind of support group one. ATTEs are so versatile though, because like they have the long range high damage gun on the top. They also have the four guys out front and the two littler weapons covering the rear. Pretty, pretty good tank. I could actually see this tank being really useful in like a war. Obviously it's not very mobile, especially when you look at like an AAT. An AAT could run circles around an ATTE, but like an ATTE... Even if it actually, <laughs> even if it was actually running circles, those little guns with the rotary cannons covering both the front and the back, it would actually be able to take those out. But like, they also have six legs, so they're highly mobile and highly sturdy. They also have like the magnets on the bottom of them for, well, maybe not orthodoxly, that's not a word, maybe not in orthodox, like Anakin Skywalker used them with the whole asteroid. But you can also have them kind of climbing up the side of the mountain, like we saw in the Clone Wars. You got all sorts of different strategies you can use with these things. Alright, this is an easy battle. It doesn't look like they have very much here. I know at some point, I don't know when this point is, but Expert Difficulty is going to start kicking the crap out of me. Oh, that is a really good screenshot right there, nice. I think Expert Difficulty is going to start kicking my butt because of the technology. Look at how many technologies they're building. Which is kind of like what I was explaining. The Black Sun doesn't have nearly as much technology as the other factions. Here we are back after the ground battle of Malastir. Now the game actually crashed a few minutes after that battle, so here we are right back after that battle. We didn't lose anything which is good on this planet. We're going to go ahead and build some local cantinas and continue to build up our Black Sun outpost. Now, after this battle, we also are going to get the trigger for the Hut storyline, the Black Sun storyline. Now, what triggers that mission is not anything that you do, but rather a certain amount of weeks that pass. I believe it's like 35 weeks. Once 35 weeks pass, the mission will trigger and the Black Sun story will begin. So we're going to go ahead and let that happen. And once we're done with Malastair, which we are, I guess, let's go ahead and build our space station. And then we're going to head after Aradu. Now, Aradu is really good because it's making us 700 credits. But also, Sullust is finally a place that we can build a ship trader, which is going to be really, really good. I don't know if I talked about that. I assume I did, but that is why we're going after Sullust next. But here, in about a week or so, we're going to have the Black Sun story, which we are going to definitely jump on top of. Still working on a refit Venator. That is definitely something that we're going to want before we take on Aradu. Because Aradu does have a level 3 space station. It also has a level 2 golem platform. So we've got to be very careful when we're taking this planet. It also has a really, really strong ground defense. It also has another um, airplane thing. <laughs> Landing platform. So we're going to want to build up some more skiffs. I think some more skiffs are going to be good. We only have one of them. And at the end of that battle, I was talking about how good these speeder tanks are, so we're going to go ahead and build some more speeder tanks as well. The refit minotaur is almost done. Let's get a couple of refit acclimators. And then it looks like they were trying to attack Malastair. It's going to auto-resolve that, kill off that hero, which is good. 
you can go ahead and go back over there, okay, Naboo. We have the ability to build space containers on Naboo, which is good. Malastare, we're going to be able to... Not, I don't think we can build... Yeah, we can't build anything here. We have the Grand Arena, which is good, because those generate a lot of credits. But I found out that those are only Tech 3 of the Hut Cartel, which is really, really hard to get. So We won't be able to build any more of those, but we do have one on Mongaza. But they, they had 300 credits, which is really good. Plus another 150 bonus towards planet income. Alright, we got the two space casinos on Christophsis build. Look at how much money we're getting on Christophsis. 2100, 600, 600, 700, 1100, 600. We're doing really, really good in the credit department. Our refit inventory is here. Let's go ahead and bring them over to Malastare. And any second now, we should be getting the Hut Cartel mission storyline triggered. I think the ATTEs did really, really good. We're going to probably use a centralized army around AATs, ATAPs, and then ATTEs because the one thing that King Caesar does have is a really, really good infantry force, which we've talked about before. And the ATTEs have the ability to transport infantry as well as support them once they are on the battlefield. So I think that's going to be really a combination. All right, here we are with the Hut Cartel storyline. Mr. Durga... I'm going to pause it so you don't have to hear the hut in the background. All right. Most esteemed Prince Caesar, which I thought was really cool. I wonder if they actually can tell which crime lord you're currently using, and then it'll say it right there, because we're currently using Caesar. Most esteemed Prince Caesar, I would like to propose a deal profitable for both sides. My hut kin on Nalhada suffer under occupying imperial forces stationed there, and it now has come to the point that notable members of our hut clan are going to be put to trial. This must be prevented at all costs. The military strength of the Hut clan is not sufficient for such ventures, and therefore we can ask the Honorable Black Sun for help. If we manage to bring Nalhada and the surrounding planets or surrounding area back under our control, you can be sure of the eternal gratitude of the Huts. All right, a couple more tech upgrades for the enemy, which is going to be kind of scary, but here we go. We have gain planetary control of Banamir. That's not what we're looking for. There it is. Free Nalhada. Durga has asked for the help. The Hut Cartel is in trouble. If we are not able to help reinforce Nalhada in surrounding area before they are conquered, the Empire will take over the Hut Sector. Durga promised us his help and enables us to build bases in the entire Hut Sector if we stop the Empire. The following planets must be controlled by the Hut Cartel or the Black Sun. Nalhada, Ubrika, or Ubrikia, Charos 4, Obadiah, Nimban, Gamor, Teth, and that planet. So there's only two planets that we have to worry about, Ubrikia and Obadiah. Let's see, where, okay, we got Ubrika right here, which I don't have access to, but I do currently own Charos 4, which isn't the other planet that we need. Let's see, Obadiah. Oh, we do need Charos 4. Okay, I see that now. Looks like maybe the Rebels literally just... Maybe took this? Through raiding, maybe? So we need to take Charos 4, which we should be able to do with this force right here. And then we can go and take Kashyyyk through the space. Don't even worry about the, taking the ground of Kashyyyk. Take the Ubrikia. And then the last planet we need is... Obadiah. Okay, we can take Obadiah pretty easily. Alright, this is good. This is good. We're really, really in a good spot here. I think I want to kind of get this fleet together and take Charles forward. Let's go ahead and do that. Gather up what ground forces we can. I don't... Do you have ground ability? I don't even know who you are, to be honest. I don't play the Black Sun that much. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Alright, let's bring you on the ground. He might just be a fleet hero. It looks like we have a decent force here. We at least have a few ATAPs. So if, if it comes down to the ground battles, I'll at least be able to win those ground battles through through long range artillery. But the rest of my fleet might not be very good. How hard is it for me to get my actual fleet here? Pretty hard and like almost undoable hard. Let's go ahead and spread some corruption there. All right, Charis 4, I think it's gonna be our next planet. Ooh, we actually have tank dealers here. All right, let's get some, let's get some tanks here. 
And I think I really care about my fleet. Let's get a couple of Amshacks and a couple of uh, Acclimators here. It stinks that we're having to spend a whole bunch of credits over here. But I think it's going to be worth it overall. Of course, right when we take our fleet off, they attack us here. Dang. That's not good. We're going to have to battle this. We're going to have to fight this battle. Because we don't want to lose Trandosha easily. Because we're going to have to retake this base in order... Excuse me. In order to get back to Kashyyyk and push to the other planets. Ready for action. Oh, this is huge. We're getting some free tr Trandoshans. Oh my gosh, dude, you can hear the you can hear them. <laughs> That's sick. Why are they flying like that? Oh, they're not moving. Move, darn it. <laughs> I like how I'm like, move, darn it, and they just starts growling at me. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Or they just move weirdly like that. That's crazy. Holy cow, I'm watching through the Walking Dead again and it's literally like I'm playing I'm literally playing through a Walking Dead game when they're talking. Alright. This is cool. This is not going to be too difficult, I don't think. Unless we can't smash through this fleet, which... It's a pretty scary fleet. Unless we can't smash through this fleet, I think we'll be able to do this story. Not too difficult. But of course, the moments we need to start working on our other planets, as... As I said, the expert difficulty is going to start coming in hard. Pause. Your she's old, sir, I sure hope she's reliable. We're gonna need her. Look at our little makeshift fleet. It's pathetic, but hopefully with some, some fighters here, we might be able to do something good. We've got a crap ton of gunships, which is good. These are also the same Trandosian ships that Bosk uses. That's pretty cool. They're moving pretty slowly. It's gonna speed it up. At your command. I don't know exactly what happens, but from what I'm kind of gathering and what I've gathered, when you get the Hut Cartel mission done, I think the Huts just join us, which I think means all of the Hut planets will join us as well, which is really, really good. I don't know if I get all three Hut technologies. Or if I'm gonna have to, or if it's just another option for me to build, I would love to have just all of the hut technologies. That would be really good. I'm not a huge fan of the hut spaces, spaceships, but I know that they they're gonna be really good, especially with how bad King Caesar is. All right, let's gonna start pushing forward. All right, we're not gonna win this battle, so our goal is to just deal as many casualties as we can. Let's go ahead and take out. I think this is a Dartalon. If we can take him out. No, it's Affion. Sorry, I took that back. It's Affion. If we can manage to take out an Affion, I think we'll be in a good spot. What are these, man? Jeez. Alright, all units, go and take on Affion. Let me get, like. I don't even know. Start shooting their fighters down. Yeah, see these Nimbanese ships? Not Nimban, Umbaran. I don't know why I said Nimban. Umbaran ships? If we can take those out. Those aren't free. We saw that they paid for those. Alright, good kill. Let's go ahead and have everybody target the next Nebulon B. We're not really dealing a whole lot of casualties, but if we can manage to take out some of these important support ships, when I send my fleet in, hopefully we can manage to take out the rest of them. Did we take out that other one? I think we did. Alright, new plan. Take out... I guess we're going to go after this Dreadnought. Go ahead and take out this Dreadnought. Dang, I lost my Acclimator. We have some really high-tech bombers. I saw those, but I think... Yeah, they're right here, but they're going to die. Yep, there they go. Those really, really strong bombers, they're good, but man, are they fragile. They're so slow. They're not fragile. They're slow, and that's what they are. So when they get hit, they die really, really fast. Which is too bad. So sad for your boy. Okay, we're not doing too bad against this Dreadnought, but I feel like we've lost the majority of my fleets. Yeah, we're pretty much down to gunships and fighters. Alright, let's change our strategy. Let's go for the three and barn ships. 
If we can limit the amount of fighters they have, we'll be setting myself up for, for success in the next few battles. This is this is kind of what I'm talking about though. The triremes look cool and they're really getting us like bombers, but right there you can kind of see how they're really not they're not all that effective. They're not like the world's greatest ship. Man, this is gonna be a tough one. They still have three capital ships, two dreadnoughts, two maybe long bees, and a crap ton of fighters and such. Right, let's see if we can manage to take out that last barn. Oh man, expert difficulty is about to get, about to get difficult. <laughs> now, especially now that I'm going to have so many more planets involved, and I'm not just going to have one little area. I think we've done such a good job of doing exactly what I said I wanted to do, and have as many buffer planets in the way as possible. And that's really, really helped us out. But I think that time is going to slowly start to fade away. Alright, we made us kill Affion. We killed all five of their fighters, which is good, as well as a few other things. But that is still a massive fleet, and it's much bigger than whatever the heck we have over here. Yeah, we have literally one Rekuzon, and that's pretty much it. Alright, let's see if we can take the ground with Charis 4. Man, we're going to need a bigger fleet. We are going to need a bigger fleet. There's no way that I can get my troops over here without smashing through like eight different space stations. So that's not really an option. I think the only option that we have really is kind of building up our own force over here. That is tough. That is very tough. All right, let's go ahead and keep working on that. That's what I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build build up our own own navy over here. All right, they did have Kyle Katarn here, which definitely means they raided this planet. Well, this is a cool looking planet. This is a definitely a new one. Never seen this map before. Oh, crap, they have units over there already. Alright, let's get a whole bunch of gangsters in here. I'm gonna bring in the Trandosians. And, nice. Okay, let's get some ATAPs. Some speeder tanks. And then some speeders as well. Alright, all units go ahead and start pushing this way. Your ability. Hunter Instinct. Reveals all infantry on the map using the Hunter Instinct. Go ahead and pause. Once that's activated. Okay, they don't have a ton of infantry. I mean, they have a decent amount, but it looks like they have an outpost probably is where they got that speeder from. So for having an outpost, they don't necessarily have a ton of infantry. They do have Han and Chewie as well, so definitely going to be focusing on building up as much anti-infantry stuff as we can. So that probably means we're just going to bring in the Rodians and the Skiff. I kind of wish I brought in the Grenadier Platoon, but I don't even have their ability yet, so it's not like it's going to be making the biggest difference. It's going to make you guys get one. I wonder why he's up here. I wonder if they have actual units. Yeah, yeah, they're capturing this. Hey, if y'all want to retreat, that's kudos to you. I'd be okay with that. Alright, let's bring in you. Let's go ahead and bring in the Rodian Hunters. And we're just going to kind of push everybody forward. Not too concerned about killing that, guys. Ooh, that I am. Alright, don't push too far ahead. Oh, jeez. Tank behind you, tank behind you. V25, V25. That's got missiles. And that's a Wookiee. Run away from the Wookiee! <laughs> Everybody- Oh, I have Trandosians! Trandosians, do your thing against Wookiees. Push forward. Ah, freaking. It may be the greatest Wookiee of all time, so, you know, Trandosians, you're not going to stand much of a chance, but hey. It's still a Wookiee. This is literally what you do for a living. Remember before the Black Sun War and you joined us? Yeah, what were you doing? Hunting Wookiees. Alright, let's get the skips forward a little bit. Do I have to actually deploy you? Oh wow, I didn't even know that. I forgot about it at least. Alright, the majority of my force is here, let's kind of keep pushing forward a little bit. We do have bombing runs and orbital bombardments, which is good. I might have to use those in this battle. Man, they're like pushing down south towards my platform. 
It said they had one structure built, so I assume they have an outpost up here. If they didn't... Yeah, they do. I was about to say, if they just abandoned the outpost, we'll just kill that thing. It's fine with me. Right, nice job. Y'all just sped forward way ahead of the other guys. Let's just push back. You need help. Maybe you don't push forward like that, sir. Alright, ATAPs are going to be my group two. Start pushing forward as well. All units push forward. Doing pretty good. This is kind of what I'm okay with. I'm okay with just kind of pushing up slowly and using a crap ton of infantry supported by ATAPs. I need them to get closer though. That's what I'm kind of scared of. Let's get the missile guys in here, just some help. Oh, they have some elite militia over there as well. Group 2, you're still not in range. You gotta get closer. Alright, let's definitely take out the... Yeah, these guys. If we take out the Seraphs, that's gonna be the majority of their, like, their true, true anti-infantry. Which is gonna be good. This is what you call a slugfest right here, holy cow. What do y'all have? Oh, just take cover. Come on, ATAPs. Let's push up the muscle guys. This isn't going quite as well as I was hoping it would. Finally managed to take out that tank. Oh, we did take out their building though, that's really good. Alright, this is actually going much better than I thought it was. They still have a lot of stuff everywhere, but outside of that, we're doing fine. Nice. Now it's just killing their heroes, which is going to be the hard part. We do have their fighter right here. We did lose our skiff. Our anti-fighter skiff, which is kind of a bummer, but... There goes Chewy. That's good. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward. We also got a bombing run coming in right here, which is good. We got what we got. Alright, what is that? Okay, just kill those guys. What we have? Just a bunker. No big deal, no big deal. I mean, if you can. Can you 1v1 these guys? What even is it? It's a Sec 4 soldier. You can win. You can win this. Come on now. You can win this if you start shooting at them, maybe. Man, you have a slow fire rate. Holy cow, I'm just sitting here waiting. I'm just sitting here waiting and you just never shot. Right, let's start pushing forward. Ooh. Yeah, I just run past it. Oh man. The freaking Tauntaun just wrecked me. Alright, let's get the bombing run right there. Ooh, we got the elite bombers too. Flying right over our escort troops. I think if we have the ability to build these elite fighters over here, I might have to do so. I think I'm going to start investing a lot of credits in here. Because if I do win the... Oh my gosh, what is... Oh, they have a flat cannon? Seriously? Wow, one missile made it through and literally only killed the flat cannon. Not ideal. Not, not ideal at all. But if I can... If I do unlock all of the hut planets and I can actually build near the hut planets, it's going to be good to start investing a lot of credits here, which I think I'm okay with. Oh, that's good. That's cool. He, has, you know, he even has a missile. All of our troops are con conjoining in one area, which is good, around the same time. They have B2s and everything. Jeez. Nah, I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, Han Solo died, Kyle Katarn died. Alright, the rest of them died. Alright, that was a costly battle. Costly battle. It's, a, it's just so hard to move the ATAPs. They're so slow. But we managed to take it. He also was not even in that battle. So we're gonna have a couple of these go down. We need that tank thing right now. We don't need this. We don't need that. Let's get you and you. Go a couple of these. That was pity refined for now. Sonic Kami, what you got? 
sell that and build two of those. And then we could start building a ship trader here, but I don't really want to do that because Jabim's still right there, ready to pounce. I might have to, though, dang. Okay, how are we looking on the ground here? Not great. And their fleet is still all there. We do have two of these bomber units, which is going to be really important, keeping those guys alive. A couple of Amshacks. We're still looking for more Acclimators, though. We do also have to take Obadiah at some point, but I think that's going to be the last planet that we take. Let's continue to push down here in the southwest. I want to get that mission done, but I think that we need to keep working on our southwestern area as well. Mission log updated. Right, mission log updated. Salvage units. A Providence? No! You want me to get rid of my Providence? We're two heavy Corellian gunboats. Oh my gosh. Alright, there goes the Providence. Not bad because it actually spawned them up here, which is going to be kind of useful. Obviously that's not a worth trade, but now that I can build capital ships, I think that's... I'm okay with doing that trade. Overall, I'm okay with doing that trade. Let's get the refit acclimators over here and then we'll start this next battle. Right away. On Tatooine, we still need to get more infantry. Oh, we have the ability to build these guys as well. That's pretty good. I just see the stealth unit and I was like, oh, I don't need those guys. But now they're pretty good. They have some pretty good long range action. Let's continue to get more infantry there and then on Boz Pity, let's continue to build more tanks. Building under construction. What we got going on? Some, some happened up here. Right, one more acclimator kind of can join up here. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on Trandosia in case they move out some of this fleet. If they split their fleet in half and don't attack this planet, then we can jump on that opportunity. Man, everything just moves so slowly in this mod now. I'm scared that they're going to take on. I wonder if the, this mission storyline triggers the Empire to start attacking a bunch of hut planets. We already have to take on a lot of hut planets. I don't necessarily want to take on more. Assault tank reporting for duty. No, that's just an independent Assault faction. Ain't right, cool. We got an assault tank up here, maybe? No, down here. Luckily we had enough infantry in this battle to kind of support us, but we're going to need more. Somewhere we're going to have to have an arms set of arms dealers. Let's go and start building our arms dealers on Clatooine. Cla Never heard of that. Clatooine, interesting. Salukami man, maybe we should invest in a level 3 space station here and then we can start building some ship recruiters here. And then maybe, maybe capturing Jabim won't be too difficult for us. Because I think that's going to be our plan. Is we're going to have to we're going to literally have to start investing a lot of credits in here, and then slow down how fast I take these hut planets. And it might take me a couple of episodes to get through this hut storyline. Because even though it's only two planets, that rebel fleet right there is going to make it much more difficult than I wanted it to be. Unless we get really lucky and they split their they split their fleet. They do that a lot. They take a planet, they retreat just like I just like I do. All right, the next battle of Aradi. This is gonna be a tough battle. They do have one technology here, though, which is good. Aradi is a sh uh, is a trading and governmental hub in the Outer Rim. It is a slate gray world of rugged landmasses and toxic slender seas. Industry holds sway over all Aradu, fouling air, land, and sea with unrelenting outpourings of toxic byproducts. The primary city, Aradu City, is in the southern hemisphere. It is a thriving seaport that had grown up around the mouth of the major river. It spread almost 100 kilometers inland. Cool. Oh yeah, we just dropped Slave 1 yeah. up front. Wow, okay, they have a lot of stuff here. I think taking on this Golem 2 is going to be our biggest, most important thing we do. Um, I think we're going to start leaving out the Amshacks for the most part here. Oh wow, they have a whole Star Destroyer. Okay. I need to build some more Kronas. Because I'm not going to build too many more Triremes. I think Kronas are going to be our anti-fighter unit. 
Let's bring in a couple of Minotaurs. Star Destroyer standing by. Push them forward a little bit. Let's get a refit over here. Let's get two regular ones and then a refit over here. I'm going to bring in all four of my Amshacks. I think they're going to be good in this battle. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. That level 2 golden platform is kind of scary looking. But I think we'll be okay. Start pushing up just a little bit, slowly but surely. Let's get the two Coronas kind of sitting in the back here. What have we got up here? Jeez. Um, what do I want to do about this? Because I want to get rid of it. Let's go Reiki Zone. Alright, time for the Coronas to come in. You guys are going to be my group 3. You guys can most likely go ahead and stop for me. Oh crap, the rest of you get stop. Stop, stop, stop. Corona, you push just right there. You push just right there. And you go ahead and actually kind of veer off north for me. Oh, you're getting shelled. Not too bad, alright. Let's keep pushing forward. We're not quite in range yet. And there it is. Alright, let me get you guys as my group 2. Group 2. And you guys can be my group 1. Hey, boss. Group 2, push forward. Group 3, you're going to have to push forward as well. Group 1, I'm kind of just gathering around. Let's knock out those ties as quickly as we can. What we got? Just another one of these. Not too worried about that. Alright, there we go. Group 3. Start hitting the hole of this thing. Group 2, your job is to also hit the hole of that thing. And I need to be careful that y'all don't move suicidally close. Definitely a warrior, by the way. How you doing? Right, you're going to easily take that out. I can bring... Let's just bring an acclimator up here, actually. We're going to support him with an acclimator. And then down here, we can bring in a longhorn. And then a trireme, probably. And those missiles are ripping us apart. Group 2. Start taking out the hull. Group 3 is already in range, which is good. So they're just going to start picking away at it. Group 1, go ahead and push that way. You push that way. Let's get as many of these fighters in the fray as we can. Uh, no, you're not getting paid, sir. You need to get in this fight. You're not getting paid if you're not getting in this fight, that's for sure. I can guarantee you that. Alright, we're going to lose this refit acclimator really quickly here. Start pushing forward that way. How did you not take this out, man? You're a whole freaking fighter unit. That's my goal. Oh, they're bringing bombers in over there. Alright. How are we doing? Can't boost your fire. We don't have that ability. Boost your firepower. We need to take this thing out as fast as we can. I take that back. All the group 2 kind of focus their way towards that. We're going to lose this refit acclimator, which is tough because he's not even doing anything. We're winning the spider battle, which is kind of surprising. Very beneficial. Maybe I shouldn't have kind of separated my fleet a little bit, but I didn't think they would be too useful. How we do? All right, that thing's already dead. Let's go group two. All group two, focus down this thing. Group three, help out. Dude, good job. That is that does allow us to bring in units over here, which is good. Uh, boss, go ahead and come in. Let's get a trireme kind of right here. I mean, another trireme. And let's get this bomber unit in here. I got shit about my triremes over here. How we doing? Are we, are we doing a good job over here? Man, we're barely even winning this. You come over here and help out. Just target their, yeah, just target their lasers right in front of you. Boost your fire power. How we doing down here? Alright. Tough battle, tough battle, but we're gonna win it, I think. You push forward a little bit, you push forward a little bit. Bombers, start hitting the hole of this thing as well. And these laser defense things over here are actually doing a really good job. The satellites, they're really helping them out. Boost your firepower. You don't have your ability quite yet. This refit Venator. The refit Venators aren't doing quite as good as I was hoping they would. Which is really tough. Because they're kind of my best unit, right? <laughs> they're kind of my best unit right now under Caesar. Ooh, we need to kill these bombers really badly. 
You plan. Both of y'all target the holes. Oh crap, they have a lot of bombers over there. How are we doing? Oh, you're dead. Wow, that thing just got annihilated really fast. We're going to win this battle, and we're not going to lose our entire fleet, which is good. Because this is going to be a tough battle. But I think we're pretty much done losing things. Maybe not. Maybe I lied. Come on, Amshacks. This is why we have Amshacks. They're not great, they're not amazing, but they don't ever die. And they're just sitting here for the longest time, dealing damage, which is exactly what we need right now. Amshacks, go ahead and kill off this guy. Three, four Amshacks versus one Architons. I really think that we should win that battle. We managed to win this, which is good. You did lose your shield generators, which is very tough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start moving you guys forward again. You guys can my group four. Group four, kind of start flanking around back there. Oh, they're retreating. Oh, everybody kill this thing. We should be able to snipe this thing down pretty easily. Yeah, with the Venator. Nice, nice, nice. No, did I not just do that? Oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. All right. Yeah, sometimes you can make it to where they don't want to retreat anymore. Yeah, just run away. I don't need to die. A costly battle. A costly battle. I will admit, but we can rebuild. I'm kind of scared if I start pulling resources out of the southwest or the southeast and put it in towards that eastern area. We're going to start taking more and more casualties like this. Man, we just don't have any tanks. Even the refit Venator is just not very tanky. And we lost our Providence, which, which is probably our most tanky unit. This ground battle is going to be a tough one right here. Let's go ahead and get ready for it. The ground battle of Eridu, or Eradu, however you pronounce it. Oh, they're stealing credits from here. Stop that. That's like two, that's like a thousand credits. <laughs> You're not about to be taking a thousand credits from me. That's for sure. Ooh, the ground battle of Trandosia. And they brought Garnbell Iblis and Leia. And they still haven't split their fleet yet. But they don't have a lot of stuff here. I wonder if we can... I wonder if we can maybe win this battle. They do have a lot of elite infantry and heroes and such, but... But we also have Trandosians. Yes, sir. This might be doable. Moving out. Is there an area where we can, like, kind of gather up and... You know, build up an area? No. Dang, come on now. There's no big thingy warriors. These aren't even real Trandosians. They're Trandosian indigenous, so they're not even going to be all that great. Um, give me anti-infantry stuff. Thanks, brother. Alright, let's go ahead and push forward down. Might as well just kind of get everybody in a fight. Holy no, this battle's gonna go by really fast. We're gonna lose really quickly. Just kill everything we can. I don't even know who's winning right now. It's kinda hard to tell. They have way more stuff than we do though, that's the problem. Let's get you guys down here. We have enough forces up here that I'm gonna try and set up a second stand over here. Right, slow it down, let's regather ourselves. Let's kill off these guys. I trust that y'all will win this fight. Y'all will win this fight. Good. Oh, you look scary. No, we're just a spec force gunner. Keep keep regrouping. Give me some of that. This is where the majority of their force is. Alright, let's back up. Back up surround here. That way these guys can kind of engage the enemy. The mass driver will help out as well. We have four Trandosians down here. Do I want to risk building a thing? Nah, I don't think so. Let's just get these guys to group up with the rest of the units. All y'all get in this fight. Let's go. Go ahead and sit down. Don't walk right by the enemy, guys. There you go. Hey, for being not true Trandosians and just being Trandosian indigenous, they're actually really, really strong. Nice, nice. We're fighting them back. We're fighting back. Okay, push back towards this. Don't need y'all to be out of the range of the Grenadiers. I think we might actually be able to win this. I'm not sure what happened to Garmelibliss. He hasn't come in yet. 
which is kind of scary because he's their best unit. And he's their one bit of armor that they have. Very nice. Both grenadiers are in. Fire, fire, fire. Doing a good job. What a fight this has been. I didn't think we were going to win this at all, but now we're actually kind of putting up a fight. There we go, good kill. We still have to worry about Princess Leia, but I'm not too concerned about her. She's not the really, she's not necessarily the best fighter in this mod. Tarnation. Ah, oh, shoot. That's fine. They're splitting up their units really hard right now. Good. One more kill, one more kill. Two more right here. Man, they gotta run out of units eventually, right? Alright, let's not too let's not go too far back. Regather ourselves up here, speed it up. Looks like Leia is one of their only units left alive. All of our turrets are doing a really good job. Let's kinda kinda stretch out south again. We've got some good abilities here. Clatooine. What does that give us? All Black Sun and Hut infantry gain a 10% Defense boost to Clatooine's training. That's really, really good. I'm glad we have that. What do you give? Hypori droids get 10% more health. And then we have Malastare, which is one of the planets we just captured. All hover vehicles move 50% faster due to Malastare. That's really good as well. So we're getting some really good bonuses from planets that we've already captured. Felucia, which is... I don't know if this is something that we actually have, or if just Felucia is always captured by all factions. <laughs> well, you can always expect them to shoot back, my friend. Yeah, I think we're going to win this battle. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure what happened to Garmin by all of this. Push down south. Ooh, they have some turrets built up here. They have an anti-infantry turret. And there they go, they're retreating. Okay, Leia's going to get away. But we managed to win this battle. Which is really good. I wonder if they're going to pull out. I think they will. Ooh, they take away one of their MC-80 justices. But I don't think that's enough. Especially now that Garmba Iblis is there yet. Definitely not enough. You know what I need really badly? Is some Longhorns. But we only have one level 2 space station here. Alright, let's keep working on them in the south then. Once that space station gets built there on Salyukami and we can get some refit refitters, ship refitters, then we can start working back up there. Let's get some more acclimators down here. We definitely need another Venator as well. Yeah, Venators, look at that. They only have 8,000 shields. That's barely even a... That's just a good cruiser's shield. Not even a good capital ship. That's a good, sh good cruiser's shield. Alright, let's do the Battle of Aradu. This is going to be one of our toughest ground battles. One of our toughest ground battles. Especially, oh man, this is a really hard planet to take. Oh, I forgot how hard this is to take. They actually made this easier. Looks like they changed the map up a little bit, which is cool. Man, this is going to be tough. Alright, let's go ahead and start pushing north. I don't know if we have enough stuff to take this. This is going to be a, lo a long, long and tough battle. Good, yeah, go ahead and start. Come at me. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Man, we need something that can kill off those that at, -AT. I see it. It's coming. It's also coming for us, which is kind of weird. Let's get all my AATs to group up right here. I'll be in my group two. I wonder how far it's going to push. And I know it's turning around. That actually could be a good thing. If we can manage to break break out and attack it while it's turning around, that might be our best dip, our best bet. Loud and clear. I'm going to bring in both my enforcer platoons. One of my enforcers, I need y'all to go over here. But the rest of y'all, I need to escort my tanks. Alright, let's go ahead and just destroy this. I want it out of the way. I don't need my units being distracted shooting at that. AATs, come on. We all saw episode 1. Y'all should be able to kill these things so easily. Especially with how these guys are just sniping them. They're a long range turret. Man, those things look 
Those TIE Fighters are really, really good against infantry. How you doing? You alright? Oh my gosh, we already lost something. Let's get some... I don't even know what to get, man. Jeez. What do they have? Just more infantry? Holy cow, we're losing everything. Alright, let's get some speeder tanks going. I, I forgot to bring in the reinforcements on my ground. Oh crap, there it is. Alright, all you guys need to be focused on this thing, especially you three. Group three, all is only job is to kill this ATAT. -AT. It's the only reason why I brush all in. Speeder tanks, I'm gonna push y'all really far forward. And see if Doctor can just take out some stuff. Oh my gosh, we need some infantry up here. Man, maybe I should pop my speeder tanks up there. Nice. Speeder tanks, the ATAPs are doing a really good job. Really, really good job. Nice job. I'll start pushing forward. Alright, ATAPs, new plane. Y'all's job is to kill this monkey turret. ACTE is doing a really good job putting up a fight over here. Your main job is now to kill this anti vehicle turret. And then... Good, we got some more units. Let me get some Kalish Warriors. And I can bring them down here and help out over here. Still gotta knock out some of these fighters, which is gonna be kind of tough, but... Alright, good. Group 2, start pushing forward. Speeder Tanks, also start pushing forward. Kalish Warriors, your one job is to get to here as fast as you can. The ATTE is going to have this thing dead just like that. Okay, I figured that would be the next shot. But you're not great against killing a mass amount of infantry like that. And you guys hit the rushdown ability, push forward. Alright, that's far enough. Plant and start shooting these guys. Yeah, look how good at getting this infantry they are. Nice job, nice job. Get out of cover, start pushing forward. Oh, nope, don't shoot that. Nope. A-T-T-E. Push forward that way. Ooh, what's going on over here? How we doing? Alright, group three. Your job is to kill this. Group two. Just, yeah, kind of sit where you're at right now. That's fine. Unpause it. Y'all need to get out of cover. Get out of cover and get going. Wow, the AT... Look how fast the A-T-T-E is. Dang, I didn't realize how fast it was. Have another turret right there. Good shot, sir. Five dollars for you, buddy. There's your tip. Alright, how are we doing? Doing a pretty good job over here, but we need something that can kill this stuff once it comes in. Which is not something I'm even bothering to bring in. They also have another shield generator over there. I need a fast anti-infantry. Here we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. And over here, I can bring in some Rodian warriors, probably. And then another ATTE, probably. That's what I'm gonna do. Get in the cover. You focus on this. I'm not too worried about. Eh, let's go and finish it off. Just like that. Perfect. All right. Bring in some Rodians and then another ATTE. The Rodians will be good tank infantry, and then we have another ATTE to deal a lot more damage. Good job. Get in the cover immediately. Nice. Do y'all get a second ability? They do not. Okay, they only get the cover, cover ability. You guys push forward. Group three, kind of keep going as well. We have death troopers right here. Yeah, let's get a few of y'all and make sure y'all focus down this area. Group two, y'all can start pushing forward. And then group three, where's group three at? Yeah, group three, keep on shelling this thing. Yeah, we lost a lot of my AATs, which is kind of tough. We'll have to rebuild them. This force needs to start pushing forward. Of course. This battle's done. This battle's gone really well. We did a really good job with this battle. I mean, we lost a lot of AATs. But with how much the stuff they had, the ATAT, -AT, the level 3 outposts, obviously that's where that came from, but the death troopers as well. Not not bad. I mean these guys are replaceable. They're obviously really fragile, but they're really cheap as well, and that's kind of what they're they're for. I mean, just kind of my throwaway anti-infantry units. Uh, let's get you in here, and then just some gangsters, some cheap infantry that I don't mind losing if I just throw them in the battle. Nice, group three. 
Man, not bad. ATAPs, especially if you bring in a lot of them in a concentrated area, where even that one tank over there was just looking the wrong way the whole time. It didn't matter. We didn't need him to be looking the right way. He was because we had three other ones. Even if they get stuck in a traffic jam, as long as one of them is facing the right way, they're going to be pretty deadly. Nice. My elite, my elite infantry supported by the ATTEs did a really good job up north here as well. Holy crap, there's still a lot of stuff over here. I know I need to turn around, actually. I have one AAT left that can kind of help out, and then Boba can come over here as well. And then we got like a bunch of gangster platoons coming over to help as well. Nice, good battle, good battle. This is going to be a really good battle because Arado is making them 700 credits. So once we get a Blackstone Outpost, we can start building our cantinas here. And then we can kind of have a lot of credits coming out of here as well. Man, this stuff does not want to die. Anything you ask. Yeah, kill these guys. That's what I ask. Kill these stupid human civilians. Whoa, I probably shouldn't have said that. Nice one. Man, the Kalish Warriors are so cool. Kalish Warriors, if you don't know, is the original... Uh, what's the word? Is the species that General Grievous is. Which is pretty cool. Before he became a robot, a robot, a robot he was a Kalish warrior. The more you know. Which most of y'all probably knew that one. Hey, we have a bombardment we can bring in. Jeez. I wasn't planning on it, Mr. Boba. Boba, did you ever think you were going to be leading a bunch of gangsters? Because that is what you have come to. What ship is bombarding like that? I don't know. It's actually kind of a good question. I mean, you can kind of see that. We don't have a lot of firepower. With how long it's taking us to destroy this stuff, we do not have some high firepower units. But we did manage to take out the civilians, which is really funny because that gave us the extra credits. So we did lose the two Black Sun Enforcers, but honestly, not the worst losses. Not the worst losses. That's what I would consider not to be too bad of losses. I know some of y'all are much better than I am at this game, but overall, not too mad about it. Wow, we got a thousand credits for that? Nice. Yeah, look at that. That's already making us 300 credits, so we can start working on our Black Sun Outpost, and then we can get a couple of Cantinas. And then we can start pushing up north here to take these two Imperial Planets. And then, like I said, once we take these two Imperial Planets, we can start working on these Rebel Planets. As well as start investing a lot more credits up north here to take out these other ones. That's going to be tough. Maybe we should attack this and just take out Garnbell Iblis. That would be a really good start to this campaign. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end episode 3 right here. I enjoyed my time. Drop a comment on what you think I should do next. Should I kind of continue to invest a lot of credits up here? Or should I maybe redirect my fleet down here to start working on the Hut Cartel? Let me know what y'all think.